Hey, welcome to the Weekend Handyman. Today, I'm just going to go over one of my older flashlights that I have here for you. I thought it would be a neat video for you to see. This is about a six-year-old flashlight. It's hard to tell that it is that old, but it is. Uh, it was just kept in my grandmother's drawer for years, and she only used it when she needed to. Um, probably about a 1950s light. It took me some time to figure out exactly when it was made. But you can see they look a lot different from lights nowadays. This is a 2D light. It's uh, not as durable as a mag light, but um, same idea you know metal body pretty durable on the back it's just stamped quick light oh, let me see it they don't make flashlights anymore it is made in the USA it's stamped everywhere on these things they were proud made in the USA on the switch um, let's go over the switch real quick it's very interesting um, pull it all the way back and it's off push all the way forward it's full on and put it in the middle and it's momentary on off which is neat and uh, it's got a glass lens which is very nice. And this light did have a uh, very, very, very bad reflector, though it did degrade over the years. So I just hit it with some silver spray paint. Um, now the beam is a lot more of a flood. Actually, it's just a big circle, but it's good for around the house and stuff. It sucks outside. Um, if I wanted to restore it with a, you know, more of a spot, I would have had to um, find a better spray paint, which I don't think there's any better spray paint for chrome or get some silver leaf and glue some silver leaf in there but I like the spot it looks good I don't really use this flashlight for anything else around the house I don't want to take it outside and you know wreck it um, I did upgrade the bulb to an LED as well this is a I can't remember the name of it right now um, I got it off Amazon it was like seven bucks I'm gonna try to get a better one for it it's pretty bright though oh, let's see if we can turn it on yeah pretty bright I like it it is very floody though as you can see it's just bright flood so it does provide a nice white light though I'm going to take it out so you can see that it is a direct fit um, just going to screw this oh, that's tight there we go yep looks just like a uh, bulbs so if there's no glass and it's just a LED module instead maybe shot it, there it is Bottom is just like a bulb. It's uh, designed for a maglite, so pretty much any maglite LED upgrade you buy will fit. And one of your older flashlights, you just got to make sure you get the right um, voltage or number of batteries for it. I mean, they, they come in like two, three, four, six D variations, and so you got to make sure you get the right one. But other than that, pretty simple. Brought the flashlight right into the 21st century. Um, obviously it's nothing compared to a better flashlight. This is my 4.7's. It's got no batteries and I got some batteries, but this is about 50 times brighter. Um, I'll probably do a review of this sometime, or just tell you about it. It's a great flashlight. Hoping to get a Surefire pretty soon though, so I can do some modding on it. Cause it doesn't really lend itself to modding. But uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.